I'm a real estate coach, trainer, and full-time investor, and recently went on TikTok, and the next video shocked me. You wanna know how I made $65,000 with only $0? Watch this video and let me show you how. You can go to two different banks in the same day and ask for a line of credit of $10,000. And also you can ask your parents, friends, or Visa card, or whatever you have to put together another $10,000. Now all of these together, you have $30,000 cash in hand. Now you find a condo that is $350,000 and you only need to put 5% down payment to get the mortgage, which is $17,500. And if you're a first time buyer, there's no property transfer tax for you. So with that money, you can own this condo. Now from the $30,000 that was borrowed at the beginning, minus the $17,500 down payment, you're left with $12,500. I would use that money to do the renovation to improve the value of the property. You can go back to your bank after six months and ask them to reappraise the property so you can take out the built up equity in your condo. You bought the condo for $350,000 and the new appraisal comes at $450,000. That means you have gained $100,000 where you can go to your bank and ask for 65% of that which equals to $65,000. And if you go back to pay the first $30,000 that you had borrowed, now you left the $35,000 cash in hand and you also own the condo. It's a lot easier than you think. Follow me for more real estate tips. Wasn't that wonderful and easy? The problem is it's almost entirely bullshit. And the scary part is I'm certain people out there are learning from so-called gurus like this. In this video, I will be destroying, debunking, and obliterating fake gurus. And at the end, I will give you a better, legit strategy if you wanna pull something like this off. Hey, what's up? Darren Voros here. My mission is to help a thousand people create a million dollars of net worth with real estate investing. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. We've got eight very important points to cover, but let me just say this. It's nearly impossible to make $65,000 in profit in six months time with $0 invested. And let me break down why and what is incorrect in this video. But because I want you guys to become real estate millionaires, I wanna show you a real way to owning a property with $0 invested. First thing, so this guy tells you to go and get three separate loans from three different sources, two unsecured loans and one from your credit card or your parents. You can then use this money to go and buy a property. This is absolutely false. When you go to apply for a mortgage from a bank, they will ask you to prove where your down payment funds are coming from. They also wanna see that those funds have been in your account for 90 days. Even if you tried to hide those loans from the bank, they will pull your credit file and see that you have unsecured loans that are not paid. A condition of most mortgage financing is that those loans are paid back and often those accounts are closed out prior to issuing the mortgage. So you can't use unsecured loans for your down payment and you definitely cannot use your credit card. You can and, however, borrow funds from your parents or friends with what is called a gift note. This needs to be signed by the people loaning you money and that note basically says that they're giving you this money without the expectation of it being paid back. That's how gift giving works. Number two, our expert tells you to go and buy a condo for $350,000. This is still possible in almost every market across the country. There are two exceptions to that, and that's Toronto and Vancouver. But even in Toronto and Vancouver, if you go outside of the core of the city, you can probably find a fixer upper condo for under $350,000. Number three, let's get to the 5% down payment. This is possible if you plan to live in this property as your principal residence. While there are exceptions to every rule, it is very rare to be able to put less than 20% down on a rental property. I know what you're thinking. What if I just tell the bank, I'm I'm going to live in it to get the 5% down and then just rent it out. Yeah, sounds perfect. How is up to 10 years in prison for mortgage fraud? Okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you are committing mortgage fraud if you're lying to the bank about if you're gonna be using that property as your principal residence. The other factor that comes into play here is that if you are putting 5% down, this mortgage would need to be insured by CMHC, the Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation. And there are premiums that are added to your mortgage amount, so that will increase your monthly payment. It's also not a guarantee that even though you are moving into this property as your primary residence, that you will get approved for a 5% down payment. That all depends on your qualifying power. The four the fourth part of the video says you can pay no land transfer tax. This is true with some caveats. In Ontario, you are not eligible for this exemption if you have ever owned a home in the past. There are also limits to what refund you are eligible for when it comes to land transfer tax. Again, in Ontario, if your home is under $368,000 and you are a first time home buyer, you will be credited your land transfer tax. If the property's over $368,000, you can get a maximum $4,000 credit towards your land transfer 
transfer taxes. There is another option to pay zero land transfer taxes, and that is to invest in a province where there are no land transfer taxes. The province of Alberta is one of the provinces where there are no land transfer taxes. So it's simple. You just have to move to Alberta. I grew up there. It's a beautiful place to live. Next, according to the video, you take your $30,000, you buy your home with 5% down, which is $17,500, and you're left with $12,500 in your pocket. What about all the costs associated with closing a purchase of a property? You can't do that in Canada without a lawyer. In my experience, the least amount of legal fees you might pay on a transaction like this would be around $1,500. So you're now left with $11,000 and not $12,500. Point number six, now you're going to renovate your property for $11,000. This is possible if your renovation is minor in nature and mostly cosmetic. $11,000 does not go very far on a renovation and this most likely means that you'll be putting in sweat equity. In other words, roll up your sleeves because you're going to be doing most of the work. Then he claims that you wait six months and the value of your condo will increase by $100,000. That's a 60% increase in value. While this is not entirely impossible, it is highly unlikely that properties would increase that much in value in that short of a time. And if they did, that would be a bonus and not something that you can count on. When you go to refinance your property after you've done your renovations, the bank will also ask you how much you spent on renovations. Many lenders will now not even entertain a refinance within 12 months, so there's that too. There are a couple of exceptions to this rule and that's if you have a purchase plus improvements mortgage or a collateral charge mortgage. If you're unfamiliar with those two products, talk to your mortgage agent. But the gist of those two products is that they allow you to capitalize on the increase in the value that you've created without having to go through a full refinance. This can be beneficial to save you legal fees and potential mortgage penalties by breaking a mortgage and getting a new one. The other element that cannot be overlooked here is that bank appraisals on refinances are generally very conservative. So if the value on the open market would be much higher, appraisals generally come in lower than that. The final piece of the puzzle was getting the bank to give you 65% of the increased value of the property, which would allow you to pay back your original loan and leave you with $35,000 in your pocket, plus you still own the condo. As I've clearly shown, this whole idea is not possible, but let me show you what is possible, and for simplicity, I'll use most of the same numbers. As I mentioned earlier, you can get a gift note from your parents for $30,000. You can go and buy a home or a condo for $350,000 with a 5% down payment if you can qualify. If you're a first time home buyer and you plan to live in this property, you may be exempt from paying land transfer taxes. So your down payment would be $17,500 and your legal fees and disbursements would be another $1,500 for a total investment of $19,000. You'll have to qualify for a collateral charge or purchase plus improvements mortgage as well. Now you can take your $11,000 and renovate your property. In my experience, the cost of materials on a renovation is approximately one third of the total renovation costs and two thirds of the cost of the renovation are the labor costs. So in theory, if you had $11,000 to spend on materials and you did the right kinds of renovations, you could conceivably increase the value by $33,000, a third for materials and two thirds for labor. If and this is a big if. The market appreciation was strong during the six months and your property increased by 10% over those six months, that would increase the value of the property by $17,500. I came up with that number by using a 10% increase over a 12 month span, which would be $35,000 and dividing that in half to give you $17,500. Again, this is by no means a guarantee, but it is possible and I have seen it on other occasions in the Canadian real estate market. So you've increased the value of the property by 33,000 through the renovation and the natural appreciation of the property has gone up by $17,500 in six months for a total increase in value of $50,000, give or take, 500 bucks. If your bank was willing to give you 65% of the increased value, that would equal $32,825 back to you. With your $32,825, you could pay back your parents $30,000, plus the legal fees of $1,500 you paid on your initial purchase. And you would have $1,325 left in your pocket. Plus you'd have the equity in your property, which would total about $35,000. But, and this is a big but, that money is in equity and not in your pocket. Equity is money you've earned on paper, but you can't realize that money until you sell. In real estate, it's very important to have a mentor and somebody that knows what they're actually talking about 
about and not rely on someone you've seen on TikTok. If you like learning from me, you will love the real estate training I will be running in September. Check out my website, darrenvoros.com for more information. If you have questions about this strategy or anything else related to real estate investing, feel free to drop those in the comments section below. To continue your legit real estate investing education, check back here every Tuesday as I release a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I release regular tips and techniques related to real estate investing as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.